gonna get ready for the grandbabies to come. I'm so excited. Deer meat is getting ready. Steaks, filet, venison filets, my specialty. Mom and I are gonna make some food for the kids and get everything ready and then have a big barn party. So I'm excited. Oh, honey. I thought we weren't gonna mess up the kitchen. We're cooking. I know, that honey. That means mess the kitchen. I know, I know, but when you fry deer steak, it's like not It'll a mess. It'll be cleaned up. It's a huge I just have to brown it, I'll stick it in the oven for an hour and a half, and then I'll clean the oven off, Mom and you can is, have Mama's gonna help me. We're gonna decorate a cake, it's gonna be all pretty. It takes 10 minutes. You know what? If we ever build another house, I'm gonna build you your own cooking kitchen, and you're gonna have your like own <laughs> roadkill kitchen, and I'm gonna have my nice fancy kitchen. That'll work. <laughs> I know I joke and I tease with you, but in mm -hmm. the years we had no money and no food, I'm thankful. But let's agree, you will never starve. You will never, never starve. starve. No, right. you know how to turn anything <laughs> into a delicious meal. So I'm very thankful all the years that we struggled financially for your game, for your ducks, your geese, your venison, all the things that you capture and kill and eat. You're pretty gracious. I mean. <laughs> At the time I had frog legs and one of the frogs <laughs> don't hop, rem don't remind. hopped out after his legs were cut off and he's pulling himself across the floor in, in your kitchen or Yes. 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 So or, I do have I'm a little history. The deer and the UPS guy comes to the door, I have a deer liver in one hand, I open the door. Yes. See it down. Yes, I or remember the trash that can quite having well. our guests are coming over for dinner and the deer legs sticking out of the trash can at the, at the road. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're reminding me of all the things I've put up with. Well, it's because you're. You may not get a Christmas gift this year. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are, are we are baking you? a cake or what? We are. We're baking all kinds of things. Oh, great. <laughs> I've got sweet potato casserole, ham, cheesy potatoes, macaroni and cheese, oh. and we're going to bake cake. Oh, I smell something that smells good right now. Yeah, don't ask about that. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Gary's cooking venison. Oh, so okay. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Always is. Gary's always got to get us a good side dish, right? I'm so glad you're here with me. I'm so glad we're cooking together. So tell us, what are we making right now? Okay, we're making lemon pound cake. Mm. <clears throat> we already have the, the uh, flour in here and the eggs. And uh, we're gonna add some oil. Okay. And we're gonna need some milk. Milk. I use milk instead of water. Uh, what if I don't have any milk? You're the queen of substitution. Throughout my entire life, I've seen you make things over and over. Um, I might have creamer. creamer I might have work. instant creamer. <laughs> uh, instant creamer we'll won't work. Okay. Creamer will work. Creamer will okay. work? Okay, yeah. I'll check on that. I'll see what I can find. T. Atkins. <laughs> Evidently, she can't find the creamer either. <laughs> okay, that will be a This first. is the way it is in the holidays, right? All I have is Atkins Cafe Caramel Protein Rich Shake. No, water will work. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we'll use water. We need a cup of water. A cup of water, mm -hmm. okay. I've known throughout my life, you always make great things and you substitute mayonnaise for eggs and what, all kinds of I stuff. I do, yes. Because, I, I mean, mayonnaise is made out of eggs, so. Part of the holidays is just a whole cup. Uh-huh. Okay. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Two cooks in the kitchen, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your pound cake is always amazing, and just the house filled with smells and aromas and pretty dishes and candles and yes. all of those things help make Christmas, to me, uh, a, a great thing. So I appreciate you. Thank you for all the work you've done through the years for our family to um, make a, a legacy and, and give us a, a heritage of family and being able to cook and just enjoy family together. Yes. Well, it's a it's a blessing. It I'm a blessing. so blessed. So blessed to have you and Johnny and our kids and all our grandkids and great-grandkids. Very blessed. 
Maybe you don't feel like you have any family at the holidays, but you do. Because God says he'll put the solitary in families. So even when we feel like we're alone, we're never alone. God says he'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. But also when we come into the kingdom of God, we come into the kingdom of a father who has a full family that can embrace and love and encourage you. And that's what we want to do here for you as well. That's why we do what we do at Faith Life Now, because we love you and you're part of our family. So we, and if you've, this is the first time you've ever seen this program, we invite you into our family and come join us. We have lots of fun and we grow in the kingdom of God together all year long. Well, all ready to go? Yep. All right, Scott's get them in the oven. I really appreciate you being here and just doing what you always do, make it beautiful and get food fixed and substitute. Sorry I didn't have eggs, sorry I didn't have milk, but <laughs> I didn't get to go to the grocery store. Well, it's, it's got a cake. It's going to be good. It always yeah, is. It's a pleasure to spend time with you anytime. I so, feel the same and way as a matter of fact, you. we have lots of time right now. So yeah. we've got 24, 25 yeah, that's minutes. Right. What do you want to do? Uh, what do you want to do? Mm, maybe we want to play a game? Yeah. How about Rook? All right. Sounds good. Let's All right. It. Good. Uh, we've been playing Rook for years. Three, years. Years and years. Years and years. Yes. <laughs> Who's going to win, Papa? We are. I'll answer. <laughs> Who's going to cheat? That would be the better they question. Are. You are. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I That's seem to remember the guys being really upset with us, not wanting to uh, play with us because we so. always won, right? I don't think so. Oh, I remember that. It's interesting that. how your memory serves you, isn't it? Oh, it always boy, oh. serves me well, that's for sure. Okay. All right. Let's mm. see what I got here. And what time are the kids yeah. supposed to be coming over today? Hi, my name is Journey, and today it is close to Christmas. Where are we going? We're going to Grandma's barn, and we're going to have a party there. It's kind of a barn party. What do you want for Christmas? I want a horse and a black camera. Um, and I want a hoverboard, because um, I can ride those. And I want a scooter, and that's wow. And some Amazon gift cards. Wow, that's a lot. Hi. Hi, buddy. Are you excited about going to Grandma's <laughs> and Papa's? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Grandma's house? Present. <laughs> okay, what's Christmas all about, Journey? Christmas is all about Jesus and the day he was born. And we celebrate it because we celebrate um, the meaning of Christmas. You don't have to get presents just to be happy. The real true meaning of Christmas is that um, Jesus um, um, was born, and that uh, and that is the thing that um, saved the world, or something. Well, Christmas really all is is about is like friendship and a time to remember old days and all that stuff. So. Did the cat just get out of the house? Hurry and find him. We gotta go. What's the true meaning of Christmas? It's about Jesus, right? Uh, oh, Ravi, what's the matter? I like friends. You, you want, want a friend? A friend? No, no, friends. Van? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we got to get in Daddy's car, I think. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, Crow. Hey. <laughs> huh? Let's take a look. The cakes uh, are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can grab those and then. Is the deer ready? I think it is. Okie doke. Very that good. Looks pretty good. Yay. Mom, the cakes are ready. All right, so we're getting ready. Shiloh just got his hair brushed. We saw that. And Ivory, Ivory, what you doing? 
What you doing, Ive? Let me do. Look at Gigi. Oh, your shirt's oh. wrinkled. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Gigi. This is Zeeland Randall Patton. He's a couple months old. Okay. Hey, hey buddies. Hey. Do you something? Tell, tell us something, Z. What do you want to tell us? He doesn't want to say much today. But he is a chunky guy. Let's look at his legs. Let's, let's look at his legs. Oh my gosh, look at his balls. So, Polly and I have never had a baby this chunky before. We finally did it. <laughs> How did you do that? How did you accomplish this? I just ate lots of cheeseburgers while I was pregnant. So not really. You don't look like it. No. Oh, thanks. No, I don't know. He's just our little. I don't know. We knew he would. We knew he was gonna look like Ivory and be a little more chunky. And he is. We. I call him Chunk. He's so cute. If you've ever seen the Goonie, he's my little Chunk. So we're headed to my parents for Christmas. And we're excited. Do you like Christmas? Yes. We love Christmas, and we love going to Grandma Ma's. Do you love going to Grandma's? It's always amazing. What's your favorite thing about going to Grandma's? Christmas decorations and toys. Show this. Show this. Uh, oh, I can't show that. Naked. We'd have to blur it out. All right, here we go. All right, what do we got, Shiloh? What's what's going on in here? Whoa. That's amazing. You want to go stand by it? Tell us which ornament's your favorite. Is that your favorite? It's a Christmas tree. Cool. Okay, well, I think what we're getting ready to do is pack a diaper bag. Yep. And head out. And then we're going to head out. So uh, my favorite thing about Christmas is obviously my family. ZZ, are you ready to go to Grandma Mus? Are you ready to go, Grandma Mus? Huh? Oh, she's ready to go right now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, we're gonna see everybody in the car in a little bit. We will survive the drive, right? I surely pray so. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded bad. We don't have fear issues or anything. No, just mentally issues. No, I'm just kidding. All right, uh, we'll see you all. In the car. Bye. Bye. Chan. No, we didn't get it. <laughs> oh, we're short ten. <laughs> Did you take ten of my you, points? I told you. Come on, in, buddy. We gotta go to Grandma Ma's. All right. Get your clothes on. Hey you. Hey you. You gotta get ready to go. Bye bye. You wanna to go to Grandma Ma's and go to her party? <laughs> all right, you two, we gotta get ready to go. Okay, we gotta get ready to go, all right? We have we're to gonna... change now? Yeah, we're gonna go to Grandma Ma's, get out of your ballet clothes, Mr. Donnie, wash your face. This young lady here, you go ready to go Grandma Ma's? Can you say Grandma Ma? <laughs> Can you say Grandma? <laughs> oh, look at that cute little smile. She's sitting there. This is our Christmas tree right here. As you can see, we got no ornaments on the bottom half and uh, we no lights on the bottom half that well, they went out. Here is the reason why the bottom part of our Christmas tree is not decorated in action. Rory, what do you have? This is what happens when we're supposed to be getting ready to leave. Oh, he's just cute. He just wants the rough house. Beautiful girl. Ready for our party. Can I see your hat on you again? Let's turn around and see, let me see. There you go. Oh, beautiful. If we get dressed a minute too soon, someone's going to end up covered in life. So <laughs> anyway, we got to be careful. So you fell off the brick wall in our backyard just before family pictures. Is that what you did? Did you do it on purpose just to make your face look beautiful? No. No, did it hurt? Yeah. Yeah, did you cry? Yeah. I did! Oh, you did? Well, it's okay. It's all right. Crying sometimes is a good way to just let those sad emotions out. Well, let's get ready to go, kids. Yeah, you're We've not supposed always... to play one unless you 
don't have any other cards. That's the way it was. He knows what he's doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have to we read. always spend time playing games with our kids and families at this time of year. It's always it can get a little rowdy, as you can tell. But it is it is great, and I recommend you do that. But it's all about family, getting your family sure. together. Spending time celebrating Christ and, and just reflecting on the year and what's ahead. Yeah, and it's, it's been it's a challenging good. year for people. It has been, yeah. But there's things you can't take away from people. <laughs> just being able to be around people they That's love. That's right, yes. And even though it's been limited, there's been pressures and problems. Uh, I love the Christmas story. It's the most yes. hopeful story in the whole wide world. Well, it's our deliverance. It is our deliverance. Yes, yes amen. Yes. Oh, here we go. All right. We are getting out of the door and the time we are let's see what time is it <laughs> yeah we're we're five ten minutes late maybe we're trying it's your favorite time of year jason favorite day of the year what is it christmas playing the grandmamas for we... christmas yeah what? what's your most favorite thing about christmas well, besides presents, though, why do we get to open presents? Because you buy them. And uh, it turned out all right, Mom. What do you think? I think so. So our substitutions didn't affect it negatively, no, I don't think. Really. Tell the camera who died for our sins. Uh, camera, uh, she just died for our sins. That's right. So whose birthday is it on Christmas? Popeyes. <laughs> Sometimes things don't go the way you want. Sometimes there's pressures and things none of us invited or asked for. When we give our expectation to God and we turn our desire toward just enjoying Him and enjoying family, He'll even turn things together and work it out. I always like to use that scripture, he will perfect that which concerns us, right. and he will. I... What do you want for Christmas? Uh, my own pack of these. Your own pack of gum? Yeah. Well, that's easy. Really cost-effective, too. Thanks. Are you thinking about uh, being cost-effective? No. It is awesome to be home for the holidays. Yes, we travel is. a lot, which is why we didn't have milk and eggs, by the way. <laughs> but it's always, always looking forward to coming home, and especially our yes. grandkids and all of our kids. Yes. There's nothing like being home, and then of course sharing. We're obviously different. Yeah, that's the beauty. We like to do different things. It is. It's a beauty when you get your family together. Sometimes people say, well, there's conflict because we're all so different. That's the way God intended mm. it. That's the way he designed it to be. I mean, I make a cake. It's awful. It's pretty. And, it's, you, yeah. and you make like. it venison. And so they're completely different, but they're both needed. So we need the protein. We need the sugar. Yep. We need the fun. We need the spice. We need the personalities of each person that brings a and it makes a contribution to the family. And the same thing in the family of God. Exactly right. You know, the, you know, the Bible says that our citizenship is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And so we're just passing through this life. And so home is where the heart is. And of course, God is where our heart's at. And we serve the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. It is our honor to serve Him. But uh, we enjoy our family because we, we come together and that's how it is with God. He loves to fellowship with us. He loves to speak to us. He has great things for us. We always say the good life is what he has for us. And he does. We're blessed. And we've seen him bless yes. and change so many lives. It's just an amazing yes. story. And in his presence is fullness of joy. Mm -hmm. So today, if you're looking for joy, you're looking for family, you're looking for peace, it's yes. in the kingdom of God and a father that loves you. And we also invite you into our family and thank you for being a part of what we're doing today. Uh, yes. We're gonna have a great meal. We're gonna see the grandkids kids share with you. Kids should be here and, pretty uh, soon. And we're it's just gonna glad get you're part of, noisy, of our life. So that's awesome. It is. And by the way, the house gets kind of messed up Crazy. talking about <laughs> messing the stove up. 
You ought to take a look at things when the grandkids clean. get here. You gotta but, start with it together, right? Yeah, start with it's, organization. It's worth it. It's <laughs> the, the relationships are worth it. So we we yes. think we want you to have a great Christmas season with your family. Mm -hmm. And again, God is your source. He is your Father, and we'd like to just briefly pray with you right yes. now. And, May the peace of God guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We thank you for that, Father. We bless yes. them. Yes. We ask you to speak to them and to reassure them in this time yes. of uncertainty mm -hmm. and that your peace guards mm -hmm. their family and their minds with direction, yes. answers for life yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, and Lord, if anyone hasn't come home to you, Father, you are such a good and loving dad. Your yes. arms are wide open and you're inviting everybody home to be with you Amen. and to come home to a father that will give them the answers that they need in life. And so thank you. If you've never received Jesus as your savior, yes. the Bible simply says, call in the name of Jesus and he will bring you into his kingdom. You'll be translated into the kingdom of God's mm -hmm. dear son, where there's all the rights and benefits, benefits. and joy. And Jesus is the reason for the season. Go home, come home, find home. For the holidays. For the holidays. There's mom and dad. Hello. Mom, say hi. Hi. There's no snow on the ground. We're really sad about that. We're here. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Well, everything's ready to go. Hey, wait a minute. They're not here. Where is everybody? Ah, you, they're what? supposed to meet here at the barn, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Do I hear singing? I. <laughs> it sounds like they're outside. Okay. Let's go. Let's go check it out. <laughs> How'd they get out there? How'd they all get out there? <laughs> it sounds like a mob up out here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Merry Christmas. So, so good to see you guys. Hey, Merry Christmas. How, oh my goodness, how'd you all sneak up on us like that? Well, it's so great to have all of us here home for the holidays. We love you. And so celebrate life together. We've done for a long time. And we want to celebrate God and give him thanks for what he's done in our lives. So, Father, we come to you today and thank you. We are so grateful for your goodness expressed to us. We have such, such great respect and honor for you today. We bless this food to our bodies and thank you that disease is far from us. In the name of Jesus, yes, amen. Lord. Thank you for your son. Amen. 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 Okay, guys, that was great. That Everybody was full? Mm. We got some dessert, and Papa is going to tell a Christmas story. Does anyone know what the good news would be about Jesus? Why would that be good news to everybody? I don't know. Okay, Dawson, you tell us. Um, because good news, like, hey, the like, good news is because he's, he's the Lord. He's the Lord. He trusts in God? Yes? Daddy. That's right. And Jesus paid the price. So hard to save the world. That's right. Save the world. Jesus came to save the world. He was our deliverance. Christmas celebrates the fact that God sent Jesus to for us. Save us from the devil. That's right. Like and that's why we celebrate ching, Christmas. Ching, ching, ching. Yes. <laughs> ching, ching, ching. Okay. Hey, yeah. you know what? what? The wise men brought gifts to celebrate yeah, life. Yeah, so maybe we should What would happen gifts? if Grandma and Grandpa had gifts for you today? Yay! Yay. That makes me happy. Let's go do that. <laughs> so glad you joined us. We want to encourage you to put your heart and trust in God. Go home for the holidays. Come home for the holidays. Wherever you call home, life is always better at home. And don't yes. forget, God loves you. He has a plan for your life. And you can walk it out with great victory. We'll see you next time. <laughs>